Hello and welcome back to another video of Mythgard, which is a really cool card game and if you haven't tried or you haven't seen you play this game, go try it out. It's also available on mobile. I'm not getting paid to say all these things. It's just really nice and I want to share. So right now we have two more um, parts of this chapter and we will have officially finished chapter one. Chapter 2 is not out yet, so we really don't know what's um, available and what's going to happen. So I'm really, really patiently waiting for that chapter to come up. Anyways, without stalling anymore, let's do this. Elsewhere within the invisible city, the reason for the Volkov attack is made clear. We didn't do anything! Why are you chasing us? You know that magic of any kind must be reported to the Vedma. Attempting to elude us once we had detected your... girlfriend was pointless. Because of you two, I had to ruin a perfectly nice neighborhood. But now... Now we must speak of... consequences. Wait! Wait, are we entering a fight? We are. And it's Ariel and Fen. What happened to Percy? So playing with the orange and blue deck. Uh, looks like we're fighting a Vetma scout. So I guess it didn't really reveal how it happened, but I'm guessing that somehow we walk into the situation and this we enter to fight. So I have to burn something. I'm gonna burn something that drains the most, which is this one. Um, nothing much we can play with the orange. Um, so we're gonna end turn. I kind of want to save the enchantment because if I put this down late, we can use it in a fight where I need it to be somewhere. So that is why I did not play that one. Okay, we can actually play this down and kill him. All right. So let's burn. Let's burn this. Play this down here. And turn. So he can't attack us. If you want to, you can attack this one. But if you place another minion after that, he's gonna get full heals. This is his ability. The vital, vital broxa. Let's take a look at. Ew. <laughs> look at this guy. Okay, he's drinking milk, which is good. It's good for you. Milk's good. Now I don't know how this one work. Uh, I I seen it before. So first he has the ability to lurk. Then it says deal two damage to anyone. Uh, the problem is there is a circle, a tree, and a circle. I think it means like you have to use tree magic to do that certain ability or something. I'm not sure how it's used. So I've never used it before, but I've seen it used on me, but I wasn't paying attention. So, okay. Uh, looks like we need something that could do at least tree damage. Um, so it's gonna be this one or this one. This one costs too much to play out. So we're actually gonna burn this. Oh shit. Um, mistakes were made. Um, by burning that, I don't actually have enough orange crystals. So this is the part where I'm gonna play this card again. I'm gonna end turn. And see what happens. So if everything goes according to plan, uh, and right now my plan is target. I'm gonna try and destroy this because this two damage thing seems dangerous. I don't want to wait and see what how it works. Oh, this is a goal card. Once per turn, get agile and rush until end of turn. 
Okay, so we're going to take this one out. The way we're going to do this is this is the part where we're going to apply the enhancement on the ground. And now we can use it. So if we use it before the uh, card might be in a different position that is not located where we need it to be and we might not be able to pull this off. We're going to use the ice spike and kill this one. And all of a sudden we have control over the board, which is great. Let's see what's next. Oh. Yikes. Aw. Man. Okay, so what I can do is I can take this one out. This one will go down a bit. I think that's the best course of action that I can do. And then after that, I need to burn a card so I can play something else. Sacrifice at the end and turn uh, unless it attacked or was just created. The way they are phrasing it is confusing me. Okay, so I feel like this is the best thing to do. We are going to put... So if he attacks me, he's going to die. I feel like Frenzy should be over here. It would be so nice if I put a Frenzy there. We are actually going to put a Lurker here. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't have enough. Right. Okay, since we have two of these cards. We might play one of this just to see what it actually means. So I don't have all the cards. Um, and there's still a lot of cards that I'm not familiar with. I'm just good with the basics. At the moment. So by right, oh, this guy's not lurking yet. So I think you have to apply, whoa, have to apply the lurking ability. So this is the card that did that. It's a rare card and it can actually push your minions to one side, which is what you just did. Now it's very important that I take this guy out because he has breach and if he attacks me um it's going to gain extra two uh, plus two plus one um even if i don't kill them in the first fight um at least stall them enough so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this one over here so only this one can attack and i'm gonna try and put some of these over here uh yep that makes sense i need at least three Okay, so this is the first one, this is the second, oh, oh I don't have enough of the uh, blue stuff, I mean the orange stuff. It's okay, if I put it over here, I'll still stall them. I need more orange stuff. Do we have a mission? It's interesting how it also pushes the, uh, the enhancement all the way to the end okay we are destroying this one because we don't really have a choice and then we're gonna put this one down uh -huh to defend and then we are going to continue with our attacks so i can actually make this guy lurk uh by pulling it down i think he has an ability where it can uh get into a lurking position so that the next the the next turn it will do two damage to the environment see over here it's like charging up a cannon which is also really cool. So we're gonna take this one out. Okay, and now we need to defend from this guy. I feel like this is the point, the part where I can play this, the two-two very -two frenzy. Uh, sh do you guys want to see it? Because I've never seen it before. So let's. Ah, so it actually does two damage to each on on that round itself, which is cool. 
and then you can see the shape change because it turned into a lurker you win next mission and also the last mission who could do this to their own people vedma witches the volkov are bad enough but they're just the foot soldiers dogs kept on the leash of the vedma witch brigades they do this to all their cities Vedma law says that any magic done within their borders belongs to them. And they mean that whoever wields the magic belongs to them, not just the magic. It's a law they seem to enjoy enforcing. Who was that girl? What did the soldiers want with her? Her name is Eva. She wasn't even doing anything. Hold there. We don't want any trouble. The boy and I were just leaving. Your magic is apparent to us. State your pantheon and show us your papers. Failure to cooperate will result in a binding ritual. Don't think we have any papers. And I've spent enough time bound to another's will. Ooh, hoo, hoo. So this is the last story that we have how dare you the sea of kits uh, is sacred ground okay so this is percy and sasha and i guess the guy uh i think it's a guy yeah it's a guy um so he is holding the green deck uh, we seem to have some new red decks red cards as well Demise, uh, all player discard cards at random until they have five or less cards in, at hand. Uh, okay, five or less cards. So, okay, I get, I get what it means. I guess I'm gonna burn this because it's very, how do I say? It's not only very texting to use, but it's also very risky to use especially if you do not meet the condition where if you're the one with more cards mm -hmm. so any minion that occupies it has plus one plus zero and armor one armor i'm worried combat damage dealt increased by one Okay, we can do this and he has Alpha Strike, which is going to be sweet. Okay, I know what I want to do now. We're going to play it over here. End turn. We'll probably give this guy uh, the Alpha Strike because he has Slayer. And Slayer is like the opposite of uh, armor, which it gives you an extra one damage. Well, else armor removes one damage so if i were to attack this guy i will die and wait what oh yeah because i have slayer so i'm doing three damage and he will die because he has two damage plus one armor i mean two health plus one armor what i can do now is by doing this he has alpha strike so he attack first before he can attack back he dies and we would save him this is not going to be able to kill him right Right, that's the best thing to do, right? I need confirmation. If only you guys can tell me I'm doing the right thing. Okay. Uh, sadly, it's only that turn. I was hoping that I would have that approaching target. That buff. Forever, but nope, it's only that turn. Oh yes, agile. Wow, armor plus one. I feel like I have to take him out. I just have to, cause he's a four two. It's too dangerous to have him around. Yeah, let's go. Sad, but it has to be done. Banish the top four cards of your opponent's boneyard. He has only two cards. Maybe we should keep it for later, a wee bit. 
we will play this one instead. What cards do you want to burn though? You don't have much choice. Oh! Oh, he needs two, right. So I'll just burn this. I wanted to burn it anyway, so it's fine. If he dies, we get an extra card, so it's fine as well. And Approaching we target. might play this one. Five or less cards at hand. We both have five and less cards at hand. Not gonna do much, but we can use it as a minion. I am not gonna lie, I am worried. What a waste. Agile and regen one. Nice. Okay, we'll probably put him in play. Or we can, oopsie, or we can play one of these. So the effect here is not gonna it's not gonna count because we both have really little cards. I'm gonna play this instead. Not gonna burn anything for now. Cause I feel like we might need the minions. A tree. A tree with one armor. It's a four. <sighs> What choices do I have? Okay, try to take control of the board so that it doesn't get overrun with minions. Uh, let's see. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Pick one and put a top. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. I can put it aside here so that he can keep doing damage, hopefully. And he has edge out, so it's not going to be easily blocked. Oh. Oh, it's ability. I can't attack though, but I can use the ability. Mm hmm. So we are gonna get one more of this guy. Because every time he dies, he gets stuff. Kind of make me want him to die. Uh, this is actually pretty good. Now I'm gonna use. I'm gonna burn it first. So we have two minions at hand and also one emergency two damage. Hmm. Beginning analysis. Oh man, why? Oh, I think I have to sacrifice. So I need to do five damage because he has four health and one armor. Five damage. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, uh wait what <clears throat> it's lurking okay simple we remove the thing that is um potentially blocking and then you can take it out i can use it again and again this is kind of cool oh this one definitely okay with that I think I'm good. I'm gonna put this down. No, I don't have enough reds. I hope I don't regret this. I think we're winning considering that he only has one card left. But of course the card is strong. Of course. Okay, what I can do now. I can move this onto the side so that he doesn't attack him. We can put this down, so he has to attack him if he wants to attack. And if he do, he's gonna die because this one has 5-5. Five, five. But I'm gonna die as well. Hmm. The horror. Let's see what's next. Yeah, let's take this. Okay. I'll call. I'm worried that it's a buff. Oh. Okay, it's a self buff. If he buffed this to do more, I'll be very sad. <clears throat> so I'm gonna kill this. 
He still has to die if he wants to kill me. This will go this way. Right? Is this the wiser choice? I think so. Okay, next mm, demise is replaced by the bottom minion of the boneyard. I don't know what's the bottom minion. The bottom one is not a minion. Oh, it's this one. Oh, nice. Okay, so two tree. I guess we'll put it all the way here. Okay. Wait. What? I can use it again? Oh no. It's a different turn. We're still kind of winning. Nice. What's that card? Alright. So deals 2 damage to anyone. I believe he uses his magic points. So he needs 3 magic uh, mana points. And he can do damage to anyone. Which makes this really good skill. How am I gonna kill him though? 3. I need 4 damage. Because he has 1 armor. Or damage. It's gonna be you then. Two points. I'm gonna play this here. Okay. I think we got this. Potentially ending this video really soon. Oh wow. He spent six mana. To hit me 4 damage. He's kind of like rushing it too. Haha. You can't do that anymore. So we're gonna put a tree 2 here. Pick a card. I'm gonna pick this one because it has more overall stats. And I'm gonna do some damage. Oh, did we just win? Yeah, we did. <laughs> There was no need for the thinking. Nice. Let's see what's the back part. The Sky Rangers! They'll be here soon! They will hunt us, goddess. They will see your power as theirs now. Way too many people are way too into that. We need the girl to find my mom. So our road leads to her. Simple as that. To be continued. Oh, uh, the part that hurts the most is that phrase. Now, um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, there are some things that's a little bit fuzzy, even though I am going through this the second time. Like, uh, they didn't really quite explain why she needs the girl to find her mom. Um, so like parts like that doesn't quite make much sense to me. There are also some other things which I can't really recall right now, but anyways, that is the story so far. Um, and we're about to end the video. Uh, I just want to point out that what we're going to do next is going to be a puzzle. Um, and I think, I think you're going to get some rewards from the puzzle as well, which is why I am so looking forward to do it because I want the rewards. Um, there are coins, coins, or oh, mostly coins, I guess. And then hopefully I think maybe when you do it up to here, you get to unlock these puzzles as well. And then once we finish all the puzzles, we will go move on to doing some actual plays with players and also PvE and like mentioned before there's a 2v2 so basically four people will be together um, on the table and I think that's going to be a little bit interesting as well okay so thank you so much for joining me for this very interesting story I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it the story has ended sadly but there's going to be new things coming soon um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again for dropping by. 
Yo, if you are enjoying yourself here, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so that you do not miss future uploads. I'm currently uploading daily and I read all the comments on this channel. So like the video if you like it and dislike it if you don't, but remember to share your thoughts down in the comments. This is not only so that I could improve, but also so that I could understand you a little better. Until next time, have a pleasant day. Bye-bye.